Now, not too long ago, Yeah, Bachmann, well, in terms of locomotives, uh, models of locomotives, like the top most famous ones, which are preserved in, in real life, Bachmann, of course, mightily impressed us with City of Truro, um, although this is a Hornby model, but, um, um, you know, both Hornby and Bachmann have done great jobs with them, you know, Bachmann with, like, City of Truro, Green Arrow, Hornby with, like, Mallard and Flying Scotsman, however, let's see how Hornby have done with, here it is, here it is, here it is, R3191 BR462 Standard Class 8P Duke of Gloucester. I've literally just got home with her. Just got it. I've just got her out of the car. Yep. The Duke has arrived. Yep, of course, special edition. Yep. 8P71000 Duke of Gloucester, special edition. Um. <clears throat> The recommended price was 199 but I got her from 100, yeah, yeah, for 110, sorry. You, you prob you're probably wondering, well, where have you, you know, where'd you get it? Hatton's have, well, um, Hatton's have got the railroad one. The, the railroad one was released just before Christmas of last year. There's been major delays and stuff, you know. This was the only one in the shop. I, um, I, I've got it, you may have heard, well, heard of its site going loco. Luckily, the shop is only like 12 miles from where I live. You know, you you know, and this was the only one in the shop. It was on display in the display cabinet, and they, um, the man got it out and very kindly test run it for me as well, and she runs perfectly. Um, there's a few slight, um, well, I discovered a few, um, well, drawbacks with the box, but, uh, well, yes, yeah, 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 we'll get to those shortly. So, yeah, just, um, quickly before we get her out, Going Loco is where I got her from. The site is, you know, it's a pretty impressive site. I mean, the shop in real life, it doesn't look that big from the outside, but, again, you know, yeah, once you get it, you know, once you get in on the inside, it's, you know, they've got a big model, you know, proper model railway, like, you know, like, well, like, um, big yards up in there. They were having, they were in the middle of setting, like, um, setting up, like, a small N-gauge one. So, um, they've got a fair amount of stuff in there. I'd say the majority of stuff in there is, is, is in a way, second-hand, although in very good condition, you know. They've, they've got a lot of second-hand stuff in there. I mean, um... You know, if you have to good, well, if you have to good second-hand stuff, um, I'd recommend going loco. Again, to get on the site, of course, just type in going loco on Google, and um, it's there. Yeah, BR Standard Class 8P, the prototype, the only one ever built. Of course, she is very similar to the Britannia's. It, it, it's, you know, it's almost as if, you know, you you, you could almost call it, <clears throat> you know, you could almost call it, a, you know, a, a concept. You know, like a concept car, and and then they build cars based on it. You know, although in this case it's steam engine. You know, um, concept locomotive, and the Britannies were based on the Class 8P prototype. You know, they really are similar. You know, y you could put it that way. Some of you may, you know, may have may have already said that. And uh, and as it says on, as it says on there, Hornby would like to thank, yeah, Hornby, yeah, would like to thank the yeah, seven one zero zero um seven one zero zero. Uh, oh yes, they have missed out a zero. Yes, that's seven thousand one hundred. Oh dear, never mind. The seventy-one, uh, uh, seventy-one thousand. Trust for their kind assistance. Yep, the oh yeah, the, oh, yeah, 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 that's correct. The seventy-one thousand. www.71000trust.com. Of course, a bit, a bit of brief, uh, brief history here, but I'm not gonna, you know, read all through it because, you know, we, after all, we, you know, we want to see a nice picture. Of, over there, uh, yeah, yeah, that was taken over on the Seven Valley Railway when she visited on there about it was a, a, a few years ago. Right, let's also get the Duke on there as well. Includes two etched nameplates again. You know, nameplates just like the, uh, well, in well in, in terms of Bachman, Bachman, you know, come with other nameplates for Tornado and City of Truro and you know ones like that. Again, I, I forgot. I mean, when I reviewed City of Truro a few years back, um, <clears throat> I didn't actually notice the. Um, etched nameplates of it until just after I'd done the review and then I kept forgetting to mention them and it's yeah there she is the block yeah, well the duke all frozen up in the block of tray packaging and um, unfortunately there's gonna have to be some very careful box oh, seriously Hornby they've done it again you know um the man she, yeah she had a front coupling fitted on the rear um despite being in the block of tray packaging fitting her tender on is very simple you know, you can remove it, uh, and I'm so glad there's none, you know, well, there's no silly little DCC chip, um, it is a DCC-ready model, as it says there, 
but there's no silly little plug socket thing like the Hombi Britannias have. So I'm really, really thankful for that. So she's, she's not going to be as fussed. There is my arch nemesis in there, the um, fitting of, of the vacuum pipes, you know, underneath. They're not already on. But um, since you can remove it from her tender, it should be easy enough. I mean, the man made sure everything, all the parts were, you know, all the spare parts in there were enough away, you know, just before I took her. Um, Hattons are doing it for cheaper, not... 96 pounds, but I mean, I know this was 110. Just move these out of shot, you know, as it says on the you know, box part there. But you know, I've been, I, I actually, um, was so desperate to get her like September of last year, you know, it's been one delay after another with after another with some of these models. Let's remove the cover. And again, of course, just, you know, the um, usual instruction, standard class 8. Again, almost the same as the as the Hombi Britannias. Right, what do we have in here first? Well, here's the rear coupling. There's the rear coupling, which the man... Oh, pooey. <laughs> I'll have to sort that out. No, it's not really a good start, is it? But... It's okay, I'll be able to get that on, just put it aside, just put it on top of the box there so it doesn't get lost. But there's the other coupling in there, which is also... Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, just looking for it. Yeah, yeah, there, which has also dislodged itself. Or unhooked itself, should I say. There's the vacuum pipes, cylinder drain, cock pipes there. Um, a couple of vacuum pipes to go on the front, although I think, I think if you put those on, I think they may prevent you from... Well, um, I think they may get in the way of the front coupling, I'll see. You know, because I would like to have a pulling tender first as well, but of course, mostly show most of the pulling um, locker first. And, and you probably just see them. Yep, yeah, they're the two etch name plates there. Yep. Yeah. Was it attach headboard using blue tack? Uh, well, um, I see 82 would like that. Yeah, using blue tack, N not suitable for children. Right then. Sorry, just a little. Welcome, Duke, to the collection. First of all, just quickly, here's a picture of the railroad model. Actually, I was wrong. A tender is actually uh, is is actually screwed on, but it looks like you know. So sorry, my mistake there. So no, the tender is screwed on again. It's like that with pretty much all Hornby's newer models now. Uh, but it's still better than having to hook it on. I mean, to be honest, since she's a DCC ready model and in this type, this form, to be honest, if she, if you couldn't, couple, if you couldn't couple it, she'd have one of those silly little plug things, which is just a nuisance. Um, she's got the flat flangeous wheel there at the rear, but that's not going to bother me at all. I mean, look seriously, that that number is seventy one thousand. A coal doesn't look too bad. It is. I think is it moulded in or? Well, to be honest, I'm not that bothered really. It's going to be a little bit difficult, you know, to hold up to hold her like this for a while. So in a minute, we'll place her on top of a box, just just like when when I reviewed when I reviewed True Row. Let's just have a quick look on the underneath. I can't believe I am holding a model, which originally was said to be, you know, they would never commercial was it, commercially produce, but now they have. Oop, just remove the camera from the tripod a second. Just best best if we if we have a quick cut. Sorry, I'll try not to block the light too much from the window. To me, you know, to me, the timing couldn't be better. The timing couldn't, I mean, couldn't be better. I mean, there was a lot of background noise earlier because some um, just had scaffolding built outside the house because we're getting the, those satellite panels fitted up, I think, tomorrow. But this model just looks absolutely... Sorry, I'm struggling to hold the camera still because I'm just so, well, excited. And by the way, her buffers are not sprung. Oh, homie, I've done it again. <laughs> They've done it again. No sprung buffers, just like when I got the 52... Uh, yeah, yeah, 52XX. Again, I'll keep the 50, 56 mixed up. Um, yeah, just like that one. But that is an exact major problem. I'm not sure what they're called, but that little curved pipe... 
um, at the rear driving wheel coupled on, onto the back of the Comrod on this side. And you know, you know, of course, just like the Britannia, she comes with one of those double chimney model. So yeah, apologies for me getting the tender couple. Well, you know, um, well, getting the tender couple system. Well, whatever wrong. Um, you know, I thought that <clears throat> I did think that you were you were able to you know to a couple of you know when I saw it like that. But anyway, my mistake. Unfortunately, cab detail is not is not the Duke's strong point in there. If you have to if you have to um well a model of work. No, a model of her with good with good cab de cab detail. I'm afraid you're kind of unlucky. I can see bits in there, but it's all black and moulded. Not only the that, the box handle is moulded as well. The front handle there, me, it was the same on the 52XX. I know that but if that's they can make that white loco, pipe above, you know, separately fitted, why can't they do it with that? Anyway, that's pretty much all the um, slight well the slight negative points gone. On with the positives. Recently, I've Duke. seen um, videos of the ra a couple of the railroad one, which does look good. I'd say as detail, if if not just a bit more detail than than Hornby's railroad 9Fs. Um, but yeah, of course, the rails there aren't coloured in white on that one. Um, they're black and moulded. Well, you know, uh, you know, of course, I don't, I don't, I don't really need to go over detail of a railroad model because you know we all know it's meant to look, you know, not as detailed. Um, I love the whistle. I'm sorry, my shadow's blocking it a bit there. There's your whistle safety valves. It's a shame, well, I'm sure I read that the Duke back in her days, well, she never really did that. I mean, she never really did that well. I mean, back. Um, well, I think I read that. Um, I think the local just proved being inefficient or something like that. It's a shame because she's, she's, just, she's just magnificent. We are looking at a model. Actual running model of the Duke of Worcester, 71,000. Her current status, I think she's at crew awaiting her next overhaul. Something like that, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, with the tender's nicely done, we've got rivets all along there. Of course the early crest. Uh, and again the coal is, uh, well actually it looks more mouldy than, than you think, but it is decent enough. I mean, we've got the danger overhead live wire stickers on. Um, it's all... It's, it's actually... There's actually more mouldings on the model than you think. I mean, these line, you know, these across here are separate. But that's moulded. You can just pick up that little black part there. It's moulded there. But it's not... It's not It's not so much of a deal. You know, of course, it's how she runs. And I'm not... You know, I'm definitely not going to criticise the slight problems, you know, or, you know, or, or the slight things which could be better too much. Because, you know... I've been so desperate to get this model, and I, 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 I bet if I, you know, if I criticise too much, I'll get bad luck and, she, and she'll refuse to run. Well, hopefully not, since they they did test her in the Going Loco shop, and she does run beautifully. See, even though I have um, seen better detail in bits areas, you know, like that, you know, visible, visible mouldings are there. But overall, she's just amazing. I'm so glad that I finally got... 71,000 Duke of Gloucester, special edition again. Other versions, um, you know, if you look in Hutton, there's like a, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a sound one coming out, uh, one in like 1960 condition, which sounds good. I mean, this one's good enough for me, you know, I just want to get the first special edition one I could. You know, the railroad one as well. And again, I've also seen a, a couple of videos, um, is it YouTuber John Miller has done, um, um, like a, you know, like a brief check out of the, um, a check out of the special edition train pack of her. I was thinking of that at first, but um, you know, but really, um, in the end, I just decided to just get her by herself. So this is, I think, um, pretty much the first review, not of the look of itself, but well, um, n um, <coughs> just of the, well, of the one just by herself in a special edition single box like she this. She also has a couple of step ladders to fit on the front as well. The tender ones are all already on. I mean, I'm so glad that it's not it's not too dark and gloomy in the room. It has been the past few days, but it's been bitterly cold outside. But it's bright sunshine now. I mean, it was icy as well this morning. We've got a free track as well to get her on the track again. It'll be in a separate video. Um, uh, running her, by the way. You know, this part one is the review, and part two will be the running. So despite a few more molds than I thought, she's just amazing.
absolutely fantastic. I mean, the rod detail there is it's just exquisite. I mean that um, that it looks a little bit awkward that line, you know, that one's sort of like coming down there and then, it, but it is meant to be like that. I mean, if you look on the box there. I mean, I love her big wheels as well. I've seen the Duke running on a few railways, the North Yorkshire Moors, um, where she practically um, deafened me. Uh, yeah, whilst pulling out of Gromont, and she sort of disappeared in a gigantic cloud of steam. I also saw her a few years back on the East Lancashire as well. I think that's the, the preserved line she... Was she based on there? Or oh, she used to run in there a lot on the East Lancs. There is space for crew to stand in there if you if you want to give us some more life. Well, um, well, you know, give the model a bit well of driving life, really. Um, you know, it, you know, although the tender does look, um, there's no wires. I've just realised that now. You know, despite being a DCC ready a DCC ready model, there's a, there's actually no wires between there. I mean, I thought I mean I thought there would. I mean, it almost looks like, looks like the tender doesn't have any pickups. Usually, if it does, there's. Well, or some type of bronze metal, well, you know, or type of what looks like contact there, but it's just, um, it's just a, a simple plastic hook, or, or well, or well, hook coupling, should I say? That's a, <laughs> a little bit too basic way of but saying. But again, it. it does look, it does look fairly simple to remove if you just undo the screw from there. I'd love to see her standing on display um, in the Great Hall at the NRM, you know, if they're not able to start work on her soon, you know, um, um, t take her to be on display at the NRM in, in, the great, in the Great Hall for a bit. Okay then, I will see you all shortly on her running in. Now just quickly look at that. Turns out someone has already modified the box. Well, well that's for the rear coupling. I'm going to have to do the same because... Um, I'm just fitting her parts on now. I've fitted a rear coupling and her front one as well in order for that to fit in. I'll do the same, you know, for this. And, of course, these are a nightmare to get on, as usual. I've still got the tender ones to put on. She's lying down on the servicing tray there. Um, <clears throat> I'll just I'll just manage to do it. Don't worry. I'll be okay. Um, but, yeah, looks like I've managed to And I hope I don't have to start cutting away at the bottom because she won't fit in, you know, with those on, you know, just like the 50... You know, just like the 52 XX tank was unable to do. Yeah, at least uh, well, part of the box mo the box modification on modifying has already been done for me. Um, I finally got her rods on underneath. The tender ones were dead easy, yes. But yeah, you've guessed it. <clears throat> Typical. The locust ones were a nightmare. In fact, the middle one was the hardest to get on because these end ones, you could very gently bend them to get them in. Yeah, I know you're probably thinking, well, you know, if you don't... Um, you know, you don't have to put them on, but you know, I like my locals looking realistic. Um, I know they're on the underneath, but anyway, they're on now. They're on. Um, a, the little tab piece end actually, and accidentally got snapped off that one. But you know, um, it it still fits on like it didn't even come off. You know, anyway, that's not important. You know, there you know there were an extra part, and well, still pretty much good as new. I just put a tiny dab of super glue on there as well, just in case. Anyway, 